Welcome to the Windows Club. If you encounter the notorious bad pool header blue screen error on Windows 10, then either read through this article on the Windows Club, the link has been shared in the description section, or simply watch this video, I'll guide you to the resolutions. First of all, uninstall any recently installed software which is suspicious. For this, press the Windows key and the R button to open the run window. Type the command appwiz.cpl and hit enter to see the list of recently installed programs. Then uninstall any suspicious one, especially one which is not known by a lot of users or get it scanned to an antivirus software. The next solution would be to uninstall any recently installed hardware and this should obviously be done to an expert but if you are confident then you can do it through the device manager itself. The third solution is to disconnect external devices like peripherals. The fourth solution would be to disable fast startup. For this, right click on the power button on your laptop and select power options. Alternatively, you can also search for it in the window search bar. Now click on choose what closing the lid does. When you scroll down, you'll find an option which says turn on fast startup. Make sure that it is unchecked and then click on save changes. The next solution is to update device drivers. Go to this website downloadcenter.intel.com and search for the Intel driver and support assistant. Download the application and run it on your computer to update all the drivers at once. The next solution is to perform a clean boot on your system. To perform a clean boot on your system, press the Windows key and the R button. This opens the run window. Type the command msconfig and hit enter to open the system configuration window. In the system configuration window, go to the third tab which is services. Check the box associated with hide all Microsoft services. If any other services checked, click on disable all, then on apply and finally on ok. Now you can click on restart to reboot your computer. Next solution becomes to run the Windows memory diagnostic tool. Again, press the Windows key and the R button to open the run window. Type the command MDSCHED and hit enter. You can click on restart now and check for programs to run the memory diagnostic tool and this also checks for the RAM. Lastly, you can get the RAM physically checked by a technician. Isn't this easy and interesting? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the Windows Club, scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.